Hi, welcome back to the sixth video in the series of mastering regular expression. In last few videos, we have learned lot about regular expression, which includes quantifiers, anchors, meta sequences, and modifiers. In the last video of modifiers or flags, we learned how we can turn a particular flag on or off. And by doing so, we are directing the regular expression engine to change the search behavior for that particular instance of search. All right. In this video, we are going to learn about group constructs. By the name group construct, you would be able to figure out that group constructs are used in the grouping of different parts of the regular expressions. Let's dive in this together. Group constructs are a feature of regular expression syntax that allow us to group parts of regular expressions together. This is useful because it allows us to apply a quantifier or other syntax to the entire group rather than just to a single character or sub expression. Group constructs are denoted using parentheses and they can be nested to create complex patterns. We will understand them by using some examples. Let's see some most widely used or most important group constructs before we try them on Regex 101. So first is A, B, C and D. So here what we have done is we have created a group and then what we are saying for the regular expression engine that I want to match ABC a group followed by D. And the second construct is a comment group. If we put hash towards the start of any group, it is not taken into consideration while matching. The last one is named group. Named groups are very useful when we want to reuse the existing group in the pattern in the subsequent characters. Okay, let's see some examples on our website Regex 101. So over here what I have done is I have copied this text from the Wikipedia entry of FIFA World Cup because these days FIFA is ongoing so I just thought I will copy this. Okay, let's start with a simple grouping. Let's say I want to match FIFA as it is. So what I can do is I can create a group of FIFA and if I want it should be followed by one space, I can create one space and then if I want it should be followed by one more group, FIFA word. So over here we are matching FIFA group followed by a space and then followed by another group which is word. So this is a simple example. Let's say I want to put some comments. Let's say I want to write FIFA World Cup is happening in Qatar this year. Okay, so I can make use of this hash which is most prominently used in other programming languages for commenting out. So if you want to put any comment, you can use the hash in these groups. Next, our third example would be for the named group. So this is just an example. So over here, what I have done is I have created a group with name sport. This is kind of a reference that I can use in the subsequent grouping in this particular regular expression. So what I'm matching is football followed by one space and tournament and then again followed by a space and over here I am referencing the old group with name sport. So when we put on the names on the groups for regular expression we can very easily reuse the named groups. Okay let's come back to regular expression. Now it's a question time. Think about how named groups can be useful. We just saw an example and then think about more. Pause the video, think about it and then resume it. Okay, so as we saw, it helps us to reuse the existing groups in the current regular expression. 
you saw how we used a sport named group afterwards in our regular expression in the example okay it's a time for practice now i want you to write a regular expression which will match the dates written in this particular format now what you can see is here are two digits followed by one slash and three characters then again one slash and again two digits this particular two digit and these particular two digits are common thing so create a group for this one provide a name for it and then use that named group for matching up this year part in the dates play around on regex 101 while writing this regular expression i'll see you soon best of luck